I'd like to ask Mr. Hoffman, on what basis do you categorize the NRC as careless? And just for the record, I have no affiliation with the NRC. Uh, the statement reads, except maybe the filter salesman. <laughs> that does not make any sense whatsoever. Fourth paragraph starts off by saying, many of San Onofre's sea encrusted, rusted, dilapidated parts will be 60 years old, too, if it makes it to retirement age. I'm sorry, sir. Excuse me. Uh, if you would like to engage in a discussion with Mr. Hoffman, we would like yeah. to make sure it's at the conclusion that you can do it on your own. Um, yes. Okay. I would be happy to. Right, thank, thank you very you. much for your time, everybody. Perhaps Mr. Hoffman can come up there and ask some questions. No, no, that will have to be done after this is in our form. Sorry for the, uh, Thank you. My name is Ace Hoffman, and I wanted to just make a brief comment for the guy that was commenting on my document. Oh, what did I do with my document now? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, here, here we go. Yes, uh, the Careless Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Well, in the next paragraph, two incidents are mentioned, which I think indicate a Careless Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The emergency core cooling system at Monticello was unavailable for 30 years. 30 years because the shipping bolts had not been removed when they installed it. So who knows whether it would have worked and who knows who should have figured that one out. But my guess is the Nuclear Regulatory Commission should have. And then the other one is uh, the davis Bessie reactor. Uh, the comment about except maybe the filter salesman, which makes no sense unless you know what actually happened there. And what actually happened is the, uh, the, the reactor pressure vessel had got a hole about as big as a football, and over there, they estimate, I think it was about three months it took for that hole to develop. What happened? Well, the filters kept getting clogged, and they kept replacing them. But nobody figured out why, except maybe the filter salesman. Uh, taking a quick look at this book, I'm sure we've all read it. <laughs> Since it came out a few hours ago, but we go over to the uh, to to the, the renewable energy section, and I don't know where these guys get off acting like experts. That's the what really bothers me in that section. Let's see, large dams have diminished because due to increased public concerns over flooding, habitat alteration, and loss, and so. Okay, well, there's public concerns about nuclear power too, but that hasn't had any effect. It says large hydroelectric facilities can uh, provide 10,000 megawatts. That's 10 nuclear reactors worth of energy. But you might have to divert because of fish, and so therefore, let's go with the reactors. Okay, geothermal. Geothermal can provide 23,000 megawatts according to current technology. However, it's located far away, and uh, we'd have to build transmission lines. Well, we're building transmission lines to get to Palo Verde, just so that San Onofre has a backup nuclear reactor. I think we can build transmission lines if we need to. Uh, let's talk about wind turbines. They have visual resource degradation. They're, they're ugly. San, San Onofre isn't, but they are. Okay. Yeah, and it's bird collisions, shipping lane interference, noise. You know, it's too bad nuclear reactor uh, radiation doesn't make a little sound when it decays. It does on a Geiger counter, but too bad it doesn't actually make that sound because then we'd be hearing it constantly and maybe we'd start to fear it. Let's see, photovoltaic systems aren't going to work because they've only been used in small appliances and homes in remote locations. Not a chance, okay? Um, so it says here that uh, according to California, there's no significant health effects from solar, although You've managed to list the hazardous chemicals, including arsine, phosphine, saline, I can't pronounce all these, sulfur hexafluoride, molybdenum hexafluoride, tungsten hexafluoride, and you know what? I bet you can't find all the chemicals that are used to make nuclear fuel listed in here, but all the ones used to make solar and how bad they are, that's listed. Okay, and ocean, therm ocean wave technology is in its infancy, so therefore it can't work. Well, you said that once about nuclear power, and it wasn't all that long ago, and guess what? It still doesn't work, so that's not a reason not to give it a chance. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to say. Um, don't forget to pick up a copy of my book, especially all you reporters. Thank you very much.